with the Venge and AA, depending on what EG chooses as their last hero. If they go for a hero which is really weak in the lane, they could Brew potentially Master. abuse the fact. Brewmaster! Okay. So Sumail's played one game of Brew, which EG won in the group stage. I, this looks more like a safe lane Brew, which could still be Sumail, not in the mid lane, but... If it's mid lane, it's gonna get destroyed by the sniper. Yeah. Minus two armor nerf from you Brew. You go for the drunken haste build in sniper, mm. you get early drunk... First well, head headshot bypasses that, I guess, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah I think but I mean, yeah. that that's obviously a percent base, so it you, it still has... Yeah, but the something. Brew, like you mentioned, would... I'm not sure how bad he actually lanes match the lane will match up for him against so the sniper. Sorry, I just want to say. Would you say that if sniper has shot Brewmaster while he's with Drunk and Haze, we can say that forty percent of the time it hits every time? <laughs> Absolutely, Bruno. <laughs> Excellent. Please continue. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining. Yeah. It is actually right. That I have Brian's approval. That is the grammatically Five correct way of putting it without <laughs> Yep. Nope. I'm sold. Yep. Excellent. So, who do you favor, Winter? I th I think I would I would like EG's dra draft more because it has a lot of uh, control o in the team fights with the Brew and the Clockwork, and I would see the Brew the the Brewmaster and the Clockwork actually making a lot of space for the Medusa to get big. Mm -hmm. David, any parting words before we head to our casters? I think we're going to a game three. Wow. That being said. Sans fun Syndrome, this is your game two to cast. Good luck, and let's hope for an amazing game. Take it away. Thank you, Bruno. Welcome back, guys, to game two of this lower bracket finals between EG and Secret. Of course, Secret down one game at the current moment of time. We have a full five-man smoke for Secret. Well, let's go over their lineup, shall we? is going to be playing the Vengeful Spirit. Arteezy on the Sniper. Puppy Ancient Apparition. Zai's going to be playing the Bristleback. And last but not least, S4 on the very manly, manly axe. Let's see how fast Weppers can move the camera. In the bottom lane, we've got Fear playing Medusa. Chen will be played by our 2000. PPD onto his line. In the mid lane, it's going to be Sumail on the Brewmaster. And finally, top lane universe is going to be playing Clockwork, looking at the top run. Man, you are just a dream to sit next to. I'll tell you what. In a previous life, I was a double tempo rapper. My uh, unknown son is... Um, <laughs> And Damn, fail. that, that fail. joke, that joke fail. fell to the ground. <laughs> uh, Twister, there we go. All right. All right it's too, too late. late. I'm sorry. Too late. Well, Asport's going to give up this rune for EG. And looks as if Universe in all likelihood will take that. Arteezy, though, will get the bottom rune for himself. Actually, Lion took it. So this is, I really like giving the bounty rune to supports because I know they get nothing in the lane. So Absolutely that's, nothing. That's, that's, a nice, that's a nice little teammate we got there. Uh, we have some wards blocking the creeps for poor, poor Chen, Aoi2000. Not going to be too happy about that. Of course, he's a renowned Chen player, although since he's been on EG, he hasn't really, I wouldn't call it a standout performances at all. Um, not sure if, I mean, he d hadn't played it for a long time, I guess, until the buff to Aghanim Scepter. That was like, what, maybe a three-month, four-month period, I would say, that Chen fell out of favor? Yeah, it might actually have been like three months. That's true. It it was quite a while. Um, I guess the reason you say we... Oh, wait a second, I'm hearing a stun. Okay, that was not even close to being relevant. Well, they kind of took half his health points, so yep, that's yep. something. Um, but yeah, Chen kind of fell out of favor for, for about three months, and I don't know if I I would agree with saying Aoi hasn't had standout performances. I guess he just he's just had less than what we were used to seeing in the past. Um, All right, yeah, that's and Cloud9, fair. he was definitely one of the most valuable players in, in the majority of their games. And I just feel like the reason he hasn't the reason he hasn't shined so much is that the rest of EG has just been playing extremely well. It's it's difficult to shine on a team that has these standout players, especially I think Sumail has taken a lot of the of the limelight this tournament. Yep, that is true. He is the prodigy from Pakistan, Arteezy in mid now. Trying to prove to his father that he made the right choice in switching teams. This Wild Wing Ripper is arguably the most annoying creep in the game. Although I would actually argue perhaps not the, the chain, what's the chain lightning one called? Uh, the, the Harpy. harpy. Yeah, yeah, the Harpy. What's that, what's the full name of that? Damn, there's harpy, none of them in the jungle. Harpy Horse Head, something like that. Universe pops the cogs. Gonna zone everybody out and take the rune for himself. It's gonna be illusions, not exactly what he was looking for. And PPD finds the bounty at bottom. Zai. It's gonna be the off laner for Secret playing that Bristleback in bottom lane. How much do you think he's gonna get out of the lane? It's gonna be the Lion and Medusa. Wouldn't call it the most kill potential early on. 
No, I think Zai's going to get a fair amount. He's currently only level 1, but he's going to get level 2 now. Closing in on boots, and we might see him get tranquils, which will allow him to sustain nicely in the lane. I uh, want to comment a little bit on God's prediction, by the way, which is that we will see a game 3. I would agree with that. I, uh, That's a bold statement there, buddy. I'm not too big a fan of EG's lineup because I feel like there's no defined moment when this lineup is is he extremely good, right? Mm -hmm. So the idea is obviously for Brewmaster and Medusa to start sieging down towers, but I think when that timing window hits, they're going to have AA ultimate, they're going to have a blink dagger on Axe, and they're going to front line with Bristleback. And EG don't have heavy single target damage. Medusa's a spread damage carry. They have got Finger as like their only kill potential, pretty much. And I just, I have a hard time seeing it cutting it, but... With that said, it's it's very important for EG to get off to a good laning stage in order to have a shot at executing this strategy, I feel. If they lose the laning stage, I think it's borderline impossible to win with their picks. But uh, they did very well in the laning stage in the previous game, so we'll see if they can do it again. For now, Samail at least doing a great job in mid against Arteezy, leading the lane. Fear getting pretty much free farm bottom. And the trade-off is, of course, S4 on the Axe. Having the highest CS in the game right now on top. Yeah, I think I, I can agree with what you're saying. I, mean, I think the wild card here is Aoi on the Chen. If they can get some early ganks going, if they can push some early towers, perhaps, they could snowball a bit. I mean, Brewmaster's just been super underwhelming ever since the nerf. What was it? The armor nerf, and what else was there? Uh, the the stun on his yeah. panda, the the Earth's damage, panda, the damage on the rock uh, on the boulder. What what's that called? Damn, I, I can't think it's called rock boulder. Actually, it's called boulder toss, right? I think so. Boulder or Toss Boulder. Just yeah. like Breathe Fire. <laughs> yeah. Not sure. Bottom lane. Impale. Plinking away at our Azai. Pretty decent damage being done here, actually. And he might run all the way back to base. Delaying his Tranquils. He's only level 2. This is actually... He's getting less out of this lane than I thought he would. Um, in comparison, Universe in the top lane sitting on level 3 with plenty of regen to spare for now. Look at AUI. <laughs> He almost got level 4 from that stack. He had the Wild Wind rip Ripper Tornado. He's not done yet. And he stacked the crap out of that thing. That's the second get, stack. Well, unfortunately, the Mud Golems will have to take auto attacks, but that's fine by him. He's an equal opportunist jungler, AUI, S4. He's level 5.5 right now, transitioning towards mid. Going to perhaps go for the Sumail in mid. Brewmaster level 5 at the moment. Berserker's call is there. Assassinate is going to be enough damage to take him out. Indeed it is. First blood goes the way of S4, but here comes the transition. PPD, Impale, into Hex. Owie! Oh, anything. Owie just stands in the shrapnel and dies shortly after. PPD might be in some trouble now. Arteza going in really deep. A couple more right clicks will do it, but the wand saves PPD life in the end. And two kills for Secret. Very quick succession. Now I can't get it out of my head that that Chen was saying "owie" when he got hit. Do you prefer a terrible I? joke? Actually, what do you prefer as far as pronunciation? Of his nickname? I switch it up. Yeah. I call him "owie 2000." I think it's it's, it's faster. To, yeah, it's exactly. faster, right? Instead of a u i, then "owie." No, oh, top lane. Then you can also make bad jokes with his name. That's great. Oh, Cogs knocking Koro back, losing some of his mana. Has a clarity though. I'm gonna sip some of that elixir. <laughs> And Puppy, by the way, getting a lot of levels. I love this priorita uh, prioritization by Secret. <laughs> getting, <laughs> whatever, just roll with it. Uh, getting Puppy a fast level 6 on the AA should be a really good way of halt of putting a halt to EG's plans here. And already with the two kills they managed to, to claim in mid, Arteezy is off to a really good start. So is S4. Everything is really going well, A lot of that has to do with plan. that gank, though, of course. I mean, you were talking about how Sumail was doing excellent in the mid lane, especially considering Sniper is pretty damn good against melees ever since that... Well, I'd argue actually he was always pretty good against melee, but... Um, is that for real? Arteezy's first Sniper? I could have sworn I've seen him play Sniper, but... The stats don't not. lie. Brian is a great statsman. He doesn't drink on the job or anything like that. It's very impressive to watch. And Sniper level 8 right now for RTZ. He has the face boots, Ring of Aquila, and 400 gold to boot. Does he actually... Do you not go bottle on Sniper mid? Mm, you can. I think... Because he his, is maxing... Well, actually, no. He, he left Shrapnel level 3. Now I, look I think it. with his focus right now... Uh, I would say bottle was a thing that was better in the past when you would push the tower with Shrapnel. But the mana cost on it right now, relative to how often you use it... Mm -hmm. I think Bottle is actually a waste in most cases. It's nice if you can get some decent rune control, but I don't think Arteezy is expecting to, to claim all the runes against a Brewmaster who just has... 
I want to say, a more effective way of pushing the lane than Shrapnel. And instead, he's prioritizing the uh, the lane dominance build with the phase boots early on from the kills, and it seems to be working. He's now overtaken some mail on farm by one CS. Universe pausing the game. There's a lot of storylines here between the two teams. Switch-ups, some drama here and there. I was actually thinking of a, a, a funny scenario. So let's say Arteezy gets first blood on Sumail mid, and he says, that's how you do it, son. Then Universe comes down the lane, hand in hand with his princess, AUI 2000, and proclaims, don't you talk to my nephew that way. But then Fear rolls down mid lane in his wheelchair. <laughs> Old man, father Fear, looks directly into Arteezy, his son's eyes, and softly says, where am I? <laughs> Okay, I'm done. <laughs> and I'm dumb. <laughs> uh, I, I, no, I kind of enjoyed that. I have, I, have a a I have a bad sense of humor, too, so I enjoyed that. You can make a comic book between these two teams yeah. with all the drama that they Wait, have. wait. so who who was Sumail's dad? S no, Sumail's uncle, uncle was Universe. Okay. And Fear, it's his illegitimate child. Okay. His real only son... The one that he acknowledges is Arteezy, who left him and backs them. I'm sure people are going to be writing this fan fiction. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. I would, I would pay, not very much, but I would pay a little bit to read amazing comics of that nature. Not going to lie. I would pay a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm a little stingy. Uh, that's big. That's big for you to say. Thank you. You're not a, a big spender by nature. <laughs> Here is the <laughs> here is the resume coming out as the pinks seem to have dropped, so they're giving it a shot. Looks like since we didn't get an immediate repause, we're gonna assume things are good here. And well, back into the game. Seeker are still everything's going according to plan. The Vanguard is up on S4 before eight minutes. He's gonna be working on his blink dagger, currently stacking the troll camp. And well, so, okay, let's let's try to focus a little bit on what EG is going to do, because we've talked about how we think their timing window is smaller, and they need to get something done early on. Aoi's almost level 6. They have level 7 on Brew, who is about 1,400 gold away from a blink. Line is level 5. We'll probably get level 6 in the next 2 or 3 minutes, and Clockwork is level 5 in same story. Uh-oh, Clock is, Clock is level dead. Damage. Maybe? He's going to TP out. Oh. Assassinate will not connect. Very He'll good be TP. good to go. If that had hit, definitely a death coming yep. his way. And I think that still hits him across the map if he fires the Assassinate. Uh, I don't think TP disjoints it. Yeah, I think you're right. I've seen that in fails, so I would assume that's correct. So you're saying when they get those items or the, and those levels in combination, that's a strong point for them. That's one of their peaks, minus the Medusa, I guess. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think they ha they have to try it at least. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure they're just flat out stronger. So male, oh, really close with the aid of the rocket and a crit there. As bottom lane, there's going to be an impale on S4, taking some decent damage. But man, that Vanguard, he he's not scared of anything what do you, right we, now. We talk about this every single game that Axe has picked, which is actually every single game. As Ice Blast is now going to come down towards bottom fear. It will hit him, but. They don't stand no a chance of fall. Blink or Vanguard first? He went Vanguard on Axe. What, um, this game, do you agree with that? I don't think there's any pressure on Secret to play super aggressive right now, so I think it's fine. It allows him to stand in lane like this and, and not really be intimidated by anything. So uh, in this situation, solid choice. I also would have agreed with a Blink first. It's one of the situations where I think both of them have their merits, but... We've seen other situations where we're like, wow, that Vanguard, really? Was that worth it? Yeah. But Secret, as mentioned, they're not really looking to take the initiative because Zai is so far behind that they have to just, they have to buy time for him. And S4 being able to just stand in lanes will allow Zai time here. He's going to stack the Ancients again. He's currently level 4 at minute 10. The clockwork yeah, this, in this, comparison is 6.5. That's, that's the most surprising thing this game is how he hasn't gotten anything in that bottom lane. Dire off lane, buddy. Mask of Madness, early one picked up by Artizel on the sniper as he's uh, taking a little bit of Who's killing who here? I yeah, think Arteezy got it. Oh. I was trying to cast that fight without seeing it. It was It's pretty tough, not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Weppis, best cameraman at EU. Love you, buddy. And an A for Actually, the moment. Actually, it's a legitimate shout-out to Weppis because he's 
He's been basically being cameraman for every single game for the most part, minus like a couple here and there. Every single minus some of them. Every single minus some. But the hours that we work is like 16 hours a day. It is insane that he's just... He has some long work days. Yeah, he, he's very committed. He's a beast. What Absolutely. S4 going to clean up the stack. They let S4 Very get the stack. I understand getting him a fast blink, but look at poor Zai. Position Zai 5 bristleback is a thing of <laughs> pub games, and it's not successful. I'm surprised they didn't at least give him some levels out of that. Yeah, I don't know what the idea was with that. I mean, I understand getting the fast blink dagger on Axe, but yeah, the levels, I'm not sure. Um, I don't think we've seen a primal split yet from Sumail. What, what's his status on blink dagger for the brewmaster? 200 to go. Okay. I want to say that's the go call for EG. They yeah, get so. blink, they get level 6 on PPD, and then they go. They start Siege Kingdom Towers. Currently Fear pressuring the bottom tier 1. Our TZ is going to move down. A ultimate going to hit a range creep. Get wrecked. Absolutely. So our TZ going for the very standard build these days. Kind of a glass cannon, mask of madness, stand in the back and hope to god that nobody initiates on you. Speaking of initiation, Kuroki. Looking for it, but nothing will come. Fear is still... I mean, even without farm, the hero is extremely difficult to kill. As double blink daggers picked up, as expected for both Axe and the Brewmaster. And right now, a little bit of a lead for Secret overall. This is an and odd skill build on Fear. He went for a 3-2-3. Three, three. Hmm. Do you think he started... I, I can't remember what he started with, but maybe Mystic Flare in the early stage. That's only Skyrath who can do that. What did I say? Mystic, Mystic Flare. Flare? Well, that would be great on, on Medusa. Man, if that was a regular skill for Dusa, legit. I think she went 0 to 1 in the beginning, as most Dusas yeah, do. Hookshot right. mid, they're going to go in on Zai. The counter initiation that's there, though. Yeah, S4, not able to get off his dunk. Look at him go! My goodness, it took him three attempts. They end up getting killed in the end. It's a 1 for 1, as there's the Mystic Flare slash Snake. S4 gets a Berserker's Call. Attempting to run away, will not be turned to stone. Sumail almost dying with the Earth Brew. Oh, this is pretty close. He has 150 health. He's, He's gonna, gonna be okay. His blink up. He's gonna get canceled. But here's a reinitiation from S4 again. AUI looks to be dead. Unfortunately, Calling Blade not off cooldown for S4 because he he whiffed it, I should say. Fear, unfortunately, swapped in the end and dies next to his tier one tower. Uh, and PPD on the go. run. But Seeker is just cleaning this up. Three for one as Universe. Will now reinitiate with Sumail. The right clicks commence. Kuroki is trying to get away. Arteezy stuck inside the cogs, and Universe gets hit by the ice blast. Oh. And they'll trade lives, but I think Arteezy got experience for that, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, he died first. Clock narrowly killed him, oh, and then he right. died to Shrapnel. Man, that was so close. That was extremely close. And a value minus on Puppy, <laughs> so he's going to get a lot of levels. This game is looking solid for Secret. Just that right there was a fight that shows how strong Vanguard can be. He really just took, like, no damage on the axe from four, or, like, two or th I maybe it was four chin creeps, the brewmaster split, all of those units just tickled S4. And when they finally brought him down, it was because he decided to dive next to the tier one tower to get the kill on, I do believe that was the Medusa. But still, easy win in that fight for Secret. Do you think this is close to getting out of control? Is it at that point, or...? Um, well, the I mean, goal is going to continue to be aggressive, and I like that. Brewmaster doesn't have Primal Split, but, of course, the Blink Dagger might be enough to get the kill on Puppy. I think they, they have this feeling of urgency that they should have. Yeah. If they just sit back, this is not going to work out. Oof. They will be looking for a kill, but Puppy... They're going to miss out. ...hang out at the right and time. Bottom lane. Secret is smoked up. They might find Fear. Ward is placed. Oh, is that ult actually going to hit? into an Ice Blood oh, Berserker's what? call. Kuroki, stunned to follow. My goodness, everything worked out there for Secret. As Fear takes a spill. And now Arteezy looking for the Roche. And don't think there's going to be found any defense here. Any defense of the Roche. That would be an interesting game mode. Defense of the Roshan. It's mid lane. Sumail jumps up with the Thundercop. Here's Universe with the hook shot. Zai looks to be the sacrificial lamb for Secret. If they can get Roshan, I suppose they'll be happy with this. He's attempting to run away. Level 7 at the moment will not get away. As Roshan is at half health. This is not a fast Roche at all. But I think they still get it. Yeah, this is an, an easy claim. A ult mid. Just going to push out the wave a little bit. And EG are smoking. They have no idea yeah. what's going on. Well, Now they do. And then, do. oh, well. Like, okay, let's get tier one top, perhaps. Get something out of this. Yeah, They absolutely have to get something done. It's it's all great that Zai is not in a good position right now in the Bristle. He's having a very hard game. But the amount of farm going the way of the other heroes is more than enough for now. As he is not their only frontliner, Axe can also just do the tanking work, and he has all the items he needs for now, and a little buffer as well with his 1,200 gold. 
And now that they realize EG are pushing top, Secret just going to trade. They're going bottom. RTZ and S4 will make quick work of this. At the same time mid, they're going to force the TP out of Sumail. Nice blast hits Fear, but he fears not and will continue to right click that tower. And all the likelihood he's going to get is going to be a trade of sorts. Zai finds Sumail. He's going to get stunned. Nope, he's going to dodge it. Nice disjoint there with the Blink Dagger. So it, it's kind of a trade, but at the same time, that includes the Roshan. I want to include that in the trade. So Secret yeah. coming out on top yet again. And they're probably getting this Tier 1 mid as well, unless Universe can get a Dream Initiation, which isn't out of the question. He's actually in a really good position up here in the high ground. Secret have no vision. I need to play oh. the smart. Of course, Ortiz has the Aegis of the Immortal. Yeah. I think if he didn't have that, he would have probably initiated there on RTZ. But RTZ doesn't really care at the moment, since he does have two lives. Mechanism picked up by Aoi. PBD trying to get an angle. Oh, Here's the hook shot. Connect on Zai into Cogs. He's going to get swapped out right away. Ice Blast will connect on Universe and blow him up as a result. A beautiful double impale by PPD and the finger that's going to help take RTZ to the grave. But he will be back with the Age of the Immortal. Kuroki on the run. Brewmaster chasing him. Arteezy is going to be the choice target, and this should be a kill coming the way of EG. And down Arteezy goes. S4 gets a nice call, but into an impale for PPD, who's playing really well on this line right now. S4 gets thunderclapped, and all of the support he has is Kuroki, who has very little mana, will TP out as S4 drops dead right in front of his eyes. And the Tier 1 tower mid will go EG's way. Great initiation. Although he did trade his life universe. That's... Kind that was to do it such a good flanking move from PPD. So all of the fight takes place in this area, and the initiation from EG just comes from the front with ho the hookshot coming in. PPD has taken the time to wrap all the way around, coming from upside at the stairs. Moves down, hits a two-man impale, instant finger onto Arteezy, who drops, and then when he comes back to life, the support is already... I believe they're, that was they're a mask to protect of madness, him. finger of death, Yes, right? he took like six or 700 damage from that finger after reduction. Uh, and during the entire fight, Sumail... Cycling the right target. Keep the X out of the fight. Very nicely done for EG. This is the kind of stuff they're going to need, and they pull back about 3,000 of their gold deficit. Next fight, RT, or sorry, Zai is going to have a mech, though, and that will make it quite a bit harder. So I'm assuming you think Secret has a better late game as well against EG. I mean, I think Medusa is probably the hardest carry in this specific game, but the problem is it's Sniper... It's against Sniper and Bristleback. And oh, Bristleback's not a carry this game. Yet. <laughs> that, that is a good point. He's struggling quite a bit, but Arteez is going to be opening up space for him. At least that's the goal. So I think who the, would you take late game then? I guess is a better question. The main question is how relevant Aoi's going to stay. Nice Ice Blast. Going to annoy Sumail a bit. So the problem with Chen in this game is, first of all, he's counterpicked by the AA. And this hero also in general just falls off in the late game. Uh... What He's also counterpicked by the golems, X. man. Yeah, well, good stuff. That is the approach to take. I think Aoi needs to focus a lot more on utility rather than healing, because this AA ultimate is going to cost them problems uh, later on. So, I'm thinking something like aura items, or so maybe maybe you don't get the eggs, which I think most Chens do right now just for the granite golem. But alternatively, you could get four staff. You could get a hex. Or maybe even a halberd is not out of the question. That's very situational on Chen, though. Um, but items of that sort could be the choice. Can We're we going to see a, which path he takes soon. Can we take a look at Ancient Apparition, Puppy? He had the Midas, and yeah, I was going to say, he's probably yeah. well on his way to his Ags, and that is going to be super scary for EG. Level 11, too, so second level of Ice Blast is online as mid lane. There is a smoke. S4 is not going to catch it. Wow, he's actually dodging everything. Oh, right Arteezy is the bigger kill. Oh, Arteezy gets initiated by the Thunderclap, the right clicks. He's at half HP already, and the finger of death blows him up. S4 trying to get some redemption, but he's going to take an impale to the face. Ice Blast on its way. Should hit PPD, who's just going to TP out to safety. Yeah, he's going to live. That's the biggest kill they can find right now. Hookshot is going to miss. Oh, Universe, man. Is Universe gets a good cogs off. In trouble. Blade mail as well. Here comes the creep army of Chen. Brewmaster jumps in with a thunderclap into a primal split. S4 gets stunned thanks to the troll creep. And he's going to continue to get chased by the Brewmaster. Fire Spirit doing a decent amount of damage. There's the rock. And I think this is going to be enough for the kill. So EG, it was quite fortunate they didn't run into Axe, actually, instead of the sniper. They blew up the sniper and then snowballed from there.
Yeah, it looked like that could have been a bad situation for Universe, but getting caught out was actually the best thing that could happen there. It made Secret take the fight, and they don't have the burst damage there without their sniper, and of course the AA ultimate on cooldown from the Lion attempt. And EG get another kill. They did use the primal split there, though, so it's not the cheapest kill in the world, but still. Well worth it. Their early game wasn't looking too hot. Now suddenly, the game is pretty much back to zero. Fear will be getting his Manta style momentarily. I mean, at the end of or the day... Or wait a second, he's not getting Manta. He's getting Scotty after Yasha. Wait, who is that? Oh, Fear. Fear? Okay, okay. I don't mind that. The old casual Yasha into... into Scotty. That's fine by me. And PPD also almost has his blink. He's going to get that now. So, the fact that they've kind of come back into this game. They're going to have great mid-game presence, and perhaps that'll open up enough time for Fear to come online with that Medusa. But only time will tell, as Secret is now smoked. And they're going to run right into some mail. Aye, aye, aye. Wrong place, wrong time. Bristleback gets the kill. That's going to be nice for Zai. Who he really has needs the mech, stuff. of course. S4 picked up a four staff, by the way, and he's going to find this not so stacked ancient camp. What did we call that again? Damn. Seal Walrus Dragon. Uh, goofy. Goofy. Goofy Seal Walrus. Goofy dragon. Walrus Seal Dragon. <laughs> it is. That should be top priority for remodel, by the way. Oh, I thought you were going to say that should be top priority for the next patch to rename the dragon to that. That too. That would be nice. Either or, honestly. Yeah. If they just roll with it and they do want to make the dragons goofy, I'm all for it. But that is not an ancient black dragon. <laughs> There's nothing intimidating about that guy. Ancient Thunder High. See, that's a cool name. Yeah. For an ancient. It also look a little more scary. More appropriate. PPD has the Blink Dagger and about to hit level 11. That's going to be pretty big for him. If you're going to continue to farm away on his, towards his Scotty. And Smoke, that should... I think the Blink Dagger's new. Am I wrong? So this is going to be a surprise with the smoke? Yeah, the Blink on PPD is new. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he just got it. So the old Blink Hex. Pretty much no counter to that. Unless you have ridiculously fast reaction time. Four staff? Well, I mean, if you're caught out alone as well. Yeah, sure. Shut but up, Cinder. They already have... Okay. <laughs> Lincolns? <laughs> <laughs> no, blink, <laughs> mana burn, or yeah, mana drain. Oh, then you have time. Right. Yeah, that's true. That opens up a lot of opportunities. So, double ultimate orb now for fear. He's actually getting really close to this guy. Do they just wait for that? He does have it now, right? Oh, he has a full thing. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Scotty, Usha, face boots, Aquila, wand. TV this is scroll. when he can start actually participating a little bit more aggressively in fights. Yeah. He's not going to really do that much damage, but he's kind of a siege tank at the moment. Arteezy is not at a point right now where he can bring down the Medusa. I think this is the best timing window for EG, and the reason they have this opportunity is that they managed to find the team fight that they did about five to ten minutes ago when... How many heroes did they kill? I think they killed three or four heroes. That meant the world for them. It allows them to now probably go into that siege tank mode before Arteezy hits hard. He has felt forced to get a BKB because of the Lion. And that's effectively delaying his ability to fight the Dusa head-on by about 10 minutes. And EG now with a smoke looking of to their aggress. Own. Knowing that Roche is on the horizon. Kuroki scouting things out. He has no idea how close he is to dying right now. Yeah, well, Samael still smoked up. Oh, he's oh going to find out. He's going to run right into him. Here we go. Blink clap. Oh, wow. He dodges the stun with the primal split. He's going to use this to kill Kuroki. The question is, is the rest of the team coming as well? And honestly, even if he dies, it's not the worst thing in the world for Sigas. Actually, Arteezy dies in the mid lane as well. This is a disaster. And Zai might be next. Oh, good four staff by Universe. Zai or has that's absolutely S4. no mana. S4 comes back in, gets a Berserker's Call, but Fear with the ultimate turns S4 to stone. Or nope, not quite yet. He won't turn to stone, but the right clicks and the impale will be more than enough to get the kill. That is three deaths for Secret as the aggression continues. Fear showing off the Scotty as Zai getting mana drained. Talk about adding insult to injury. Poor Zai. This is going to be the fourth death for Secret in a matter of 10 to 20 seconds. By that, I mean 30 seconds-ish. <laughs> and a tier 2 tower shall fall as well. Yeah, this EG is just came online in the... Just super fast. Their whole lineup is just coming together. I want to say PPD has been very impressive on his line in this game. It's It's been so important that he's been able to find the kills he has on Arteezy. And Universe as well with the hookshot there, setting everything up. They don't only get two separate skirmishes. The one skirmish in mid turns into a teamfight, and they just grab collateral damage.
times four with two extra kills and two towers. Secret were looking hot. And it's despite quickly not having getting the, really cold. Despite not having the greatest pushing team, I mean, you have Chen, but everybody else is more of a lane pusher, I guess you could say. They're going to have every outer tower except for the bottom lane. This feels like last game almost, where the mid lane was the only untouched lane for a while. And it's only 25 and a half minutes in. So forget those patches with all the buffs to, to towers and anti-push. EG's doing just fine. As Manta style will be finished very shortly. Just needs to get that ultimate orb purchased. About 600 gold. Aoi is going for the Ag, so... Oh, Sumail. Oh, boy. Oh, what a blame. <laughs> oh, my God. I wish I had reaction time like that. Yeah, but you're old. Does Fear have a reaction time like that? What would happen to Fear in that scenario? He would have popped R and was like, Okay, that's my that's my getaway sequence. He would have paused. <laughs> Wait a like, second, on, guys. Let me bind my keys. <laughs> Hold on. Kuroki gets initiated on PPD is here as well. That's going to be an easy kill going the way of EG yet again. And Roshan is up. Can they take it? It's only the VS dead at the moment, but right now, it just feel like Secret can't fight. Yeah, that's the real problem. The real problem is that EG can actually go on a lane or go into the Rosh pit and just have Fear tanking up, and he will not die. They cannot kill the Medusa at the current point in time. Oh, Puppy. Takes a thunderclap to the face. Some mail pops Primal Split for him. S4 is here for moral support. Rocket Flare is going to connect. You can do it, Puppy. <laughs> Run. quite a bit. Actually, he's not going to get the kill on Puppy, I don't think. He's going to continue to go, though. The Fire Panda is destroyed. Ice Blast comes online as well. Puppy takes the stun to the face. And he's going to live. So a Primal Split wasted in the end. Fear's going to have to use his ult just to be able to get away. Don't think they want to reinitiate on this. But in the end, they do get the Tier 1. And Roche still stands. Yeah, they, they paid two ults there for Tier 1. I think that could have been smoother for EG, but Sumail went really aggressive. Nothing Still, new there. They, they lose nothing of value, though. Like, these ultimates, they can just wait. Their, their timing window is not as tight as it could have been at this point, so... Just wait a minute and a half until you have your ults again. Probably get the Tier 2 bottom or the Roche. But Seeker are taking this opportunity to try to go. I think this is the best possible play. But EG might see this oh. one coming since it is fairly obvious. Fear Maybe not. The cliff. Doesn't have his ult. He's going to get gonna initiated. Get Ice Blast is going to hit Aoi. He sends his comrade in his arm back. That was really fast reaction time from him as well. Although that might have been cast beforehand, actually. Either way, Arteza gets a DD. And this might be the Roche for Seeker now. So things have turned a bit. Yeah, they Chen. really needed Aoi this. Aoi buys back, though. They want to fight. Oh, wow. And Roshan's doing a lot of damage with that slam. They have some vision, thanks to the shrapnel. Oh, Puppy. Universe could get such a good engage. Here's here we the go. Hook shot into Kaiza. Puts Arteezy on the cliff. He's going to pop his BKB. He's actually fine being up here. Who's going to get the Aegis? Kuroki picks it up. As Zai's taking damage from fear, it's going to be slowed. Arteezy, are you going to be stuck up there this whole engagement? It's PPD just go. <laughs> the finger of death finishes him off. How unfortunate for well, Secret. It's going to be really good. Owie, half HP in all likelihood will die, but S4 just continues to get pounded to the ground. They're finally going to get the champ, but all they lose is Universe and Owie for four, including the Aegis. They EG just, is looking <laughs> ridiculously good. They just have absolutely no solution to this, uh, this Medusa and the Brewmaster jumping in on them. And the, the engage from Universe is perfect. He sees the opening, he knows that they're going to be ahead if he jumps in mid Roche fight. Is this the end of Secret in this tournament, Cinderin? It's getting there. I, I don't know what they can really do at this point. They, the way they took that fight wasn't that bad, and I won't blame them for trying to get Roche because I think they really desperately needed to get something out of that. Samael, oh my goodness. Wow. There's the AC. The timing couldn't be any better yeah. now that they're looking to take the base. Hey, well, ultimate. Fast will hit. Just fear, though. They're Here not going to get the Zai. tower. Kuroki takes an impale. PPD has been on top of everybody with this lion. Even the four staff being used for fear to get away. So the tower will survive, although it can be denied. Arteezy just trying to get as much farm as possible. Of course, the beak. Man, we didn't even talk about the Roche. I didn't even have time. Those cocks put Arteezy on the cliff. Yeah. That was insane. At first I was like, ah, it's not that bad because it's a sniper with ridiculous range, but... I actually think it didn't matter at all. He could have... Elsie would have stayed in the pit, and then he would have also died, I guess. Yeah, I think so. so. That's I mean, probably true. It's just a hilarious It looks moment. cool. Style points once again <laughs> for EG. <laughs> and they continue to... 
play a great game of Dota here. We're looking at Secret looking to, we're looking at them looking to push the bottom lane out a little bit here. Arteezy being protected by Kuro, the risk of the gank here. They cannot afford to lose their sniper anymore this game, I would say. He has to get farm. And it's taking too long. Zai will be getting his 31 minute BKB in a moment. And that's going to help, obviously, because the only real counter to him is Stone Gaze. So maybe he can commit a little bit into the fight until now. He's kind of been a non-factor, I would say. It just seems like it's going to be too little too late, but... The gold advantage for EG is not that enormous. It's only 5,000. Experience... One and a half times that, though. And Arteezy will port back. No. He needs a damage item right now. He cannot build Manta, I think. Uh, they need... I'm I'm thinking either a Daedalus or a Mjolnir would be both of them would be nice. The reason Mjolnir is good here is that Dusa will probably not be aiming for a BKB and then he gets good single target damage and also some spread onto the others during the AA ult. They need to bring down the targets. Yeah, I think Mjolnir is really good. I mean you have two tanky cores and Bristleback and Axe that can take the static charge as well. So not a bad choice, although I mean he's kinda way off at the moment. He has about twenty two hundred gold last we checked. That's only enough for the Hyperstone. Uh, and EG, they're sitting in a pretty good spot, although we've seen a lot of comebacks this game, so it's not over to the Fat Lady Sings, that's for sure. As Fear runs into S4, takes the Berserker's Call. The rest of Secret's on their way. Which will they be on time? Fear's just going to pop his ult. Stone Gaze, not going to turn anybody to stone, but S4. Hookshot has found Arteezy. Hook you're right, Universe just leaves them in the cogs with double BKB. S4 is going to blink in with the Berserker's Call. A nice heal. From Chen, Universe taking the Ice Blast. He might pop in the end. Blade Mail is activated at the moment. Zai taking a lot of damage. You're not going to get away from here, good sir. Two for one exchange at the current point. PPD continue on, trying to kill Arteezy. Gives him the old sheep, but will have to run back. Kuroki, the third death for Secret. PPD, what is online for you right now? He has the Impale, not quite in range, though. Blink is up. Nope, keeps getting canceled by Arteezy. He could have tried a four staff Earth Spike there, but if he misses the Earth Spike, he's going to die and chooses the safe play and gets out. That was actually fairly close to Secret getting ahead in that fight. Aoi made a really good play, healing as early as possible, knowing that the A ultimate will come in. And Fear, he lost all of his mana. He was down to about 800 health, but Arteezy couldn't keep going. His BKB ended. He was going to get run down, and again, PPD just on top of him with the Lion, really preventing him from, from playing the Sniper with, with maximum potential. AUI, I believe he finished, or he should be finishing his Ags relatively shortly. Yeah, there it is. What ancient creeps will you find, my friend? Thunderhide will not do it. Has to be the ancient granite golem. Stories of old. Tell about the creatures that increase the HP by 15%. Tell about Why the such ancient a ceiling. Why such a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the memories you and I make together, Cinderin. Yeah, it it's feels like it's... It was yesterday, which it was, yep. so... That is, that's a great point you bring up. Thank you for your competitive insight onto that, that memory. You're welcome. Arteezy gets the DD. This could be pretty big if they want to find Always ready to give some competitive insights on your jokes. <laughs> Don't enter stand-up. <laughs> it's my You're insight. so mean to me. I know. Arteezy has I keep saying I'm your worst friend, and you keep laughing it off, but... You're my worst friend and best enemy. Whatever that means. Yeah. Okay. What do you think about Sumail going for that. Ags this game? I thought it was going to be more of an Aura plus BKB type deal. But mm. BKB, not really that good, actually, now that we look at it. Not good yeah. at all. I think his, his goal with his build is just to be as powerful as possible in the split, and then he's focusing 100% on the split. Alternatives now would generally be Abyssal Blade or BKB, as you mentioned, or maybe a Hex. Uh, the thing about the split is he'll be able to cast Drunken Haze while he's in the split with the Storm Panda. I think that's actually the most relevant relevant point. Of course, the, the clap on the Earth is not bad either. But the Drunken Haze onto Arteezy is going to cause a lot of trouble. I think that might be the main reason Maybe he's Arteezy grabbing Maybe Arteezy just it. goes MKB. Yeah. Well, he might have to. I just don't know if that's going to be enough. He needs I mean, to use his gold, though. It he feels like he needs two gold. damage items at this point to become yeah. relevant. He really does. He has. I mean, look at the net worth. He is 5k behind his father in fear. And that's a Medusa. Papa so Dusa. Papa Dusa. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like some delicious pizza. Snake pizza. Mm. Wait. Fear has 2,900 gold for himself as well. What does he go for? His ancient granite golem is available to take. What does he go next? 
for Medusa. I think just the standard butterfly is a good choice. He has it, by the way. The whole butterfly? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, he, has, he doesn't have the eagle song yet, though, right? Yeah, uh, he has the gold for it, the courier. Yeah. It's going to go up there after it gives Sumail his agonims. Echonyms. Fear is like, hey, can I send the courier to the secret shop and get my butterfly? And Sumail's like, no, I'm a pub star. I will spam click the courier until I get my item, and you can do nothing to stop me. Yeah, every time he and dives... And Fear's like, I, my fingers cannot press as fast as yours. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> and he lets Sumail... The arthritis the is kicking in already. <laughs> <laughs> but every time Sumail dives, I just think about what you were talking about from the interview of Sumail, where he just... Sometimes he just doesn't listen. <laughs> yeah. It's funny that he would admit that, though. Uh, I'm sure PPD... Finds a lot of value in this. I guess we can call him a prodigy. Really, I mean, 15 years old is pretty insane. He is extremely good. I've been very positively impressed by him this tournament. I mean, you can't really be disappointed when the kid comes in and is already in secured third place, and as it looks right now, on the way to getting into the grand finals of his first LAN event. No, D2L was his first. Oh, that's true. He did play D2L. That's right. But he also, I think he... It was a hit or a miss. I yeah, think, he was not as... Uh, but from my understanding, he moved, I could be wrong, he moved to the States a week before he went to D2L. Damage. So it was just like a lot of things changing his life. and Dyer's bottom tower I can't even imagine when I was 15, something like that happening. I mean, that's... I mean, I was good, don't get me wrong, Cinderin, but not that good. Good at other things. Counter forces. <laughs> well, the tier two tower, tower will down. fall. For secret, Boom, there it goes. and it looks like they will not secure the ones for themselves in the top lane. And here we go, Fear, the siege tank himself, ancient granite golem, giving him a little bit of extra HP. And all secret can do is try to turtle. I feel like last game they had the better turtle lineup too. Yeah, I don't know. There, there's kind of no alternative to just playing defensively at this point for Secret. If they go out and fight in the open, they might just lose the game off it. They know they're far behind and that they have to play like this. Oh, maybe oh, so not. Actually, maybe you just go. Berserker's call. It's gonna Assassinates split. on its way. Primal split. Can they secure any kills off of this? Doesn't look like the rest of EG wants to do anything. Samael's like, please help me. I want to fight. Samael, go back. Does have the Aghanims online as well. You're seeing the Thunderclap come online a couple times in this fight. S4 taking so much damage just to the Brewmaster. That just shows the potential. It looks like the they might want to open here. Where's the Universe? He's kind of being blocked by a Chen army. No, I think they want to wait yeah. for the A... Wait, what happened to the Aegis anyway? It, that's been a long time. It's actually going to come up right, right now. There. They don't have split for this. Yeah, this true. might be the best chance for Secret, honestly, to just try to go there and see if you can get something out of it. Of course, the Deuce is starting to hit hard, but Fear still does not have a real damage item. I don't... I well, well, Butterfly kind of is a damage item, but it's a hybrid. It's not a, a hard-hitting item. And Arteezy has bought the MKB you were talking about. So now, now it's go time. They're going to smoke out, look to get a fight in the Radiant Forest, and if they just find one or two kills here, that's a Roche too. And will probably bring them back to almost even oh in the game. Boy. They're gonna run right into oh, they're fear. They're gonna find fear. That's maybe not actually that Stone bad. Gaze is up. He's gonna hit it. Get stunned. Secret's gonna fall back at least for now. The question is, are they gonna re? They need re to rego. They're also just gonna lose. They're gonna. Oh boy. BKB's okay. He's popped by Zai. There was initiation from Universe onto S4. Zai trying to do as much damage as possible. Arteezy is the one we should be looking at. In the back, right clicking away. It's a one for one exchange at the current moment. Ice Blast comes. Oh, Zai takes a lot of damage from the Finger of Death and will fall. It's a two for one. S4 on the run. Blinks out to safety. And with that, Primal Split will be online by the time they want to take Roche. It's actually ready now. now. And here we go. Yeah, this is probably an EG Roche, unless if Secret want to buy back to try and fight it. They have buy back on both their heroes. I think that's the worst hero you can like run into. That was kind of bad luck for Secret. In a way, yes, and in a way, no. I think they just weren't completely ready to get the instant initiate. If they jump on Fear before he gets Stone Gaze off there, they might actually take all of his mana shield. And alternatively, what's the AoE? The radius of Stone Gaze is a thousand, so Arteezy actually can't attack him. I thought the radius was smaller, so he would be able to hit him from range even during that, but Sniper's range being 950 is just 52 short. Ooh. Nice force there. There's the there. Roche for EG they can taste the finals right now. Yeah, I mean, Secret has been extremely impressive in this tournament, but this might be the end of the line for them. Can they come back in this game? It's about a 10K lead in both experience and gold, actually 12K in experience. 
We've seen crazier comebacks, I'll say that. And although they don't have as great of a turtle lineup as last game, it's still decent. I mean, Sniper has ridiculous range. He has Shrapnel. You have tanky heroes like Axe and Bristleback to take some... to soak up some of your damage, if you will. This Bristleback is not a tanky hero. This Bristleback is paper thin. I keep thinking thin. that he's so tanky. <laughs> he really doesn't have a lot. And this is one of the few games where Zai just hasn't blown us away. It's not quite Techie's territory, but... <laughs> This is one of his few you know performances what? that hasn't impressed. I think they would rather have a Techies right now. That That's actually uh, an this interesting bristle point. Yeah. I think oh, they could get more out of it. He's going to attempt to TP out. Look at these crits. Wow. Jeez. That was like three out of four. He'll be fine, though. A little worse for wear. I think Sumail gets Abyssal next. And then Arteezy does not get away from that next time. Well, right now he's carrying cheese. Yep. And with that, plus the Aegis on Fear, the Siege will continue. And of course, this is just a disciplined team doing exactly what they need to do. They don't want to overextend, try to give up this lead. The rubber band effect has been real in this tournament in the past, and the right clicks will continue onto this melee racks in mid lane. And doesn't look like Secret even wants to defend. Oh, there's a Fortify. Wow, Fear's losing a lot of mana. Uh, he does have Aegis, though, remember. And the racks will fall. So Secret will give up mid lane with just a couple of spells used. They want to delay this as long as possible until they're ready to fight. And the question, when is that? When is the opportune time for them item-wise? item, item wise? When, Or do you just wait for the Aegis? When Aegis is gone, if they can delay it that long. That's still in three minutes. I think if you're EG, you just go next lane right away. Arteezy is starting to hit pretty hard with the Monkey King bar and the Crystalis. If he, if he grabs a Daedalus too, it is possible to claw through that Mana Shield as Zai has now grabbed a Talisman of Evasion. Halberd not that far off. That could also be the timing window. Mm -hmm. Getting that onto the Medusa, who can't break it. No PKB. Manta Style does not remove it. As AA ult is gonna... EG has a smoke. It's gonna clip Universe and hit Fear dead on. But that's not gonna stop them. They're gonna transition to bottom lane. Don't think they're going to find a kill, considering Secret's on the opposite side of the map. Yeah, this is a very safe. obvious smoke, too. They're top tier two towers under pressure, and no one's defending. But I don't think EG cares that Secret knows, and might even if they get the tower, they also don't care. So Just is EG better off trying to use this? Well, obviously trying to use the Aegis is better off, but how bad is it if they have to wait for the next Roshan, considering they have all this map control right now? Mm. Actually, if you look at the wards, there's only one ward on the map at all. That's actually insane. Okay, two wards. Yeah, I I think it favors Secret a little bit more if they don't get anything out of this Aegis. Uh, because I'm assuming if they don't get anything out of the Aegis, there's also a kill or two going Secret's way. And then maybe they get some map control back and can start farming. But Oh boy, it's going to be the double Wild Wing Ripper coming to town. Here so come the Nados. Aegis, like we've talked about at length, still online for Fear. Ice Blast, only hit a couple. Assassinate, though. For a minute. So male at half HP still has Primal Split. Everybody has their abilities. Their ultimate's online, ready to go. And a Crystal is actually online for Arteezy, so I don't, I doubt he has buyback at this point. 1,200 gold, that's not going to cut it, I don't believe. So it's going to oh, be nice. all in for Secret. Here we go. The heal's being used. A ultimate has worn off. And the Tornadoes are just going deep into the base. Sumail so trying to get his stun off, or his ultimate off. He's getting stunned. Galore finally gets it off in the last second, but so much was used by Secret. BKB popped by Zai. S4 gets four staffed and then bounced back by the Cogs. He has to run back to the fountain. Arteezy cycloned in the air by Sumail. Gets stunned in the fountain as well. Don't think he's going to find a kill on him, but Kuroki might be in some trouble. But in the meantime, the siege tank remains. And actually, <laughs> Sumail's going to throw his life away, but either way, bottom lane is taking huge amounts of damage. Melee Rax is down. Fear still has the Aegis. For another 10 seconds. Oh, they're actually killing him. He that was a mistake. Doesn't pull Arteezy, unfortunately, for him. And they're going to reinitiate. S4 extremely low, but Fear actually drops before he can pop Mana Shield. Right, that totally didn't matter. So three deaths for EG, but they do get the double Rax. Not That's the worth range it. at the bottom. This lane. is worth it for Secret. It's actually worth it. They got so much gold out of that. Sumail so wow. so was extremely close to not getting his ultimate off, by the yeah. way. He blinked in and he split, and then he stopped the split because he was like, mm, maybe I can get a clap off first. <laughs> it looked like that was what so happened. Cocked. Tried to cast something and go went really greedy. Oh, that was really oh, yeah, close. I was going to say, it's, like, it's almost like the MKB stun. 
prevented that a bit. Cause oh, he, he took, might. Yeah, he might have been hit by MKB. That's he true. took a couple stuns, and it was almost enough, along with the Berserker's call. I but. didn't see the MKB, but yeah, it, it must have been that. There's no way he's that cocky that he's like, hmm, <laughs> well, nah, know. let me just let me just clap first. <laughs> But at the end of the day, he still got it off. S4 tried to call him, and he missed the calling blade. And because of that, that was on cooldown the entire fight. Yeah. But still secret with this hold. They get the Daedalus on Arteza now if they want to buy it. I think the gold swing was about 6,000. The experience was 11 in that fight recap. And we're seeing the graph dip now. This game is not over yet. If EG mess up another push or lose the next Roche, Secret could find a foothold right. in this game. L let's say they quote unquote mess up the same way they just did. They give up a bunch of kills, but they take the melee racks top. That means you have two range racks left for top and bottom. Is that exact? Is that what Secret wants? I think or they need the to next, do a little bit better next. The time? next time Secret are strong enough to to maybe fight them head on. That's the that's the problem. Brewmaster is falling off by the minute now. The hero does not scale that well. He has a lot of control, which he of course maintains, especially because he has the Ags, but... Ultimately, 20 minutes down the line, this Brewmaster will be a liability compared to the heroes we usually see Samael playing in, like Storm Spirit, Shadow Fiend, uh, even Invoker would be way more valuable in, in super late game territory. And EG, they need wow, to... Wow, a really late hood and probably into a pipe yeah, for Owie. I'm guessing. Against the Ice Blast and pretty much only the Ice Blast. I don't know if that is actually even worth it at this point. I think Force Staff could have been a more powerful tool for their team. A ultimate. It's going to clip two. Not even clip. It's actually going to impact two. And, and it's that just is gonna the delay Ags, the push. of course. I don't know. This is, this is pretty risky for EG. They might think they're further ahead than they are. They have a 4k gold lead. Arteezy has buyback. He has enough reliable gold wow. to be able to buy back should he die. Look, Look at that. that, that absolute insane. roller coaster. Well, secret. Can they make a defense? They've come back in this game as much as they can to this current point in time. 23 to 20. 47 and a half minutes in. This is the lower bracket finals for the Dota 2 Asia Championships 2015. Universe. Pretty big a ghost waste scepter, the on the AA ult. I don't know if that triggers an engage from EG. Looks like it doesn't. And we also should mention Zai. He's making progress. He has Halberd and another 2k gold off that fight. He's going to reach a point when he's going to be a, a problem for EG. He's going to be more valuable than Brewmaster 20 minutes from now as well. So if they hold long enough, this Bristle might start hitting hard with something like an Abyssal. And no matter, I have this feeling that no matter how big fear gets, this game is going to be secrets for the taking 20 minutes down the line. Oh. PPD really wants to initiate on Arteezy. He's going to get the impale off, but I don't... Oh, okay, he's going to use the finger. Here's the hook shot. BKB on Arteezy. Does he have buyback? He might not even die here. His universe is taking the brunt of the damage from S4 with the Berserker's Call. He gets healed up by the Chen. Universe four staffs out. Meanwhile, top lane fear and AUI trying to take out the tier three tower. They will not be successful as Zai shows up with the BKB. Universe on the run, Battle Hunger into Berserker's Call, and into Culling Blade just chops his head off. That's the only death, some way, somehow. Fears out of mana up top. Aoi has a TP. I don't know if he makes it out here. He's going to try. There will be a. Oh! What? Oh, he so got out. going to take some right clicks from Arteezy. Arteezy extremely fast. PPD, four staff, gets healed. Impale will connect, will not go any further. His finger's actually online, but unfortunately no mana is because Fear's going to take out the Ventral Spirit. S4 and Zai extremely low, but Fear, he might drop to the assassination from Arteezy. He has buyback, but probably not going to use it. The Tier 3 tower was taken out, but the racks remain for Secret. Full Daedalus for Arteezy, by the way. Yeah, I don't know. They lost their bottom lane. Now there's only one lane to focus on for EG. So, okay. In this scenario, EG feels like they're kind of slipping. The lead is slipping a bit. Once, once they ensure they all have buybacks, do they just go balls deep for that top racks and just focus the buildings? And if they need to, buy back for the, the all-out defense from Secret. If they are aware of the cooldown on the Glyph, I think they can brute force Mega Creeps now. They're going to try to get Roche, but Secret won't let them. A ultimate is going to bring Brew fairly low here. And I would, I would actually say a good play from EG right now is to go five top get split off, put Medusa in the front lines, and hit the racks. It's still a risky play and not a guaranteed win. Wow. Fear, yes, buys, fear a buys a BKB. What do you think about that? 
That prevents the mini stun from MKB. The ice blast, obviously. Uh, actually, the ice blast goes through, but not the initial blast. The, Only the shatter. Yeah, the shatter portion. Um, assassinate. What do you think about that? I mean, it doesn't stop Berserker's call or Halberd. anything like that. Oh, that's true. It's for the Halberd. That's a good point. And Secret looking for the Roche. Meanwhile, top lane, PPD is going to be pushing. Wow, is Universe actually going to oh, try this? Puppy getting initiated on by Brewmaster. There's the stun. He might get this kill very easily with the Thunderclap from the Aghanim Scepter. And Roche will fall. Sniper picks it up. Boots of Travel picked up by Fear now. He's going to port on the Brueling. Uh-oh. Oh, Secret, you're holding trouble. Go. This might be the last leg for Secret. Melee Rax is going to be taken out, I think. Arteza's TP was stopped by a hook shot. Oh no! This is gonna be mega creeps going the way of EG. Side pops the PKB, but it's all for not. EG just needs to run away with that stone gaze. Mega creeps. Berserkers call for S4. They might be able to clean up PPD, but is this gonna be enough? They might get two. Big calling blade is gonna take him out. He has buyback. Clockwork does not. Can they come back from mega creeps? Arteezy does have the Aegis. This is gonna be. If they can come back to, from this, it's going to be the biggest comeback of all time. I think Arteezy's getting a rape here now. He's flying out the courier toward the secret shelf. It's going to be a lot Was the raw. cheese denied by the centaur, by any chance? I think it can't... Yeah, okay. So the centaur walked in, got a nice stun off. The Aegis was already taken, and then it denied the the, uh, the cheese. As Mask of Madness was what was dropped for Arteezy to pick that bad boy up. Man, what a play in the heat of the moment, though, by EG to port onto the Brewmaster split and get those racks. And avoided the team fight. That could have been risky there. Ultimately, only trading it for a Roche, which they take any day of the week. And Arteezy, no, he's getting a Mjolnir. They're looking for the long base defense instead of the all-in mid. What are your thoughts on that? I well, mean, they've lost to it initially. before. <laughs> they lost to Vichy Gaming. They yeah. know it's possible. But that was a different game. Even a Maelstrom on I Axe. still don't want to count them out. It's... It's it's hard, though. I mean, I think the main issue here is that Secret in all likelihood will not have buybacks because they have to buy out all the items they can, while EG can sit on a ton of money, like 3k right now in Fear. He can definitely buy back. Samil, not quite, though. Especially with the death on top of that. But Pipe, Vlads. A very late Vlads for Secret, but that, of course, is it's plus needed. 5 armor against those mega creeps. They need auras now. This is the... Your good old tower defense game. <laughs> the waves keep pushing in. Arteez is a fairly strong tower. Zayas, an unupgraded tower still. Oh, maybe he's level 2 tower as S4 trying to clear out a little bit. And EG have all the time in the world right now. They're not nervous about Secret getting too much gold because they know it's going to take a very, very long time before they get any meaningful items. Yeah, does Fear have enough room for an gold. Aegis or anything like that? for the next run? Mm. I mean, can, would you drop anything in form of... to make way for an Aegis? I don't you think you would give it to the him. Aegis on somebody else? Yeah, I think you would give the Aegis to... I think you give it to Lion yeah. once he gets Ags. I was thinking that too. He has the Ags money now, by the way. He's not buying it, though. Saving for buyback. The safest play. A 54-minute barn burner! That's what we say in America, in case you're wondering, Cinderin. Centaur's going to be taken out. And this is not what a lot of people expected coming into this series. They expected to firstly go three games. This is assuming Secret loses, which is still a very high probability, I want to say. Is S4 is going to take the finger of death? Is he going to drop to the Brewmaster? Indeed he is. He has buyback, though. Arteezy, the base defense continues. And Brewmaster is going to continue it. Puppy gets stunned. But there's oh, just hitting hard. the Storm Spirit. As the Earth Spirit's now on the run. He's going to get stunned right off the bat. The MKB procs coming into play. He pops the BKB along with Zai. Arteezy, this is up to you, my friend. Gets the Shrapnel off. Trying to go for Fear. Fear's just going for the base at the moment. S4 trying to initiate himself. Gets the Shivas off. AUI taking the assassination. Arteezy taking so much damage just from the Mega Creeps alone. They're not going to find any kills as the test of fate. No one died. Brought Fear back to base. They sent Fear home. They poured it out the chin. They forced a buyback from Axe. That's a huge win. And Mask of Madness comes back online for Arteezy. <laughs> oh, Fear back in the mid lane. Berserker's call, but he's doing more damage to S4 than he'd like to 
to admit is Yudas with a beautiful Kongs forcing him out to the other side. Kuroki might sacrifice his life for his comrade in arms. And actually, he forces himself now up the cliff. He will live to see another day. But this, never mind. <laughs> the finger of death just decimates him. Arteezy trying to make a last stand for Secret. S4 as well. The tier 4 tower, only one remains. And now the Ancient is all alone with the buildings. And Arteezy will drop. That's the Aegis, though. He'll come back online very shortly. Fear. Everybody taking the Ice Blast damage. This is pretty big for Secret. S4 stuck in the middle of everybody. Gets the Berserker call off. Culling Blade will not proc, however. Puppy going down to the split shot of Fear. The double kill. This is a disaster. Secret looks to be out of DAC 2015. EG will find their way in the Grand Finals. Best of five tomorrow versus Vici Gaming, who they lost to. A rematch previous of the series. winner's bracket final which Vici Gaming won pretty convincingly 2-0 today. Yeah. Wow. They fought hard. Both teams, this is a Rashid Wallace quote, and you're not going to know who that is, but both teams played hard, my friend. Both teams played hard. Yeah. The better team won. But he doesn't say that, actually. No. I never said that. So despite this being a 2-0, oh, this is a very exciting series, I have to say, and it did not disappoint. Secret 